Hello, manifestors. Do you have to remove your unwanted subconscious programming in order to manifest your desires? Well, you can definitely assume that you have to, but why would you? Let's talk about this today. Do you have to reprogram your subconscious mind in order to manifest your desires? Be sure you're listening all the way to the end of this video and you'll be glad you did. I have to say that it makes me laugh when I hear those coaches saying that it takes 21 days to reprogram your subconscious mind. And that has made me laugh for a while, frankly, because even when I used to believe that I had to reprogram my subconscious mind, I knew that 21 days is not true. If we really talk about reprogramming the subconscious mind, it's going to take a little bit longer than 21 days. Most of this is parroting anyway. Most coaches that you hear saying that, they're just repeating what they've heard. They don't even know the reason why they're saying it. In any case, this is not true, okay? So if you have been trying to reprogram your subconscious mind and it's been way longer than 21 days, don't feel that you're doing something wrong. It's just that the information is wrong, okay? I want to specify this first and foremost. So don't just believe everything you hear, all right? Because we hear a lot of things out there on YouTube and other platforms where coaches share their knowledge. And another thing that coaches share is their own limiting beliefs. And I know for a fact, because me and other coaches, we have evolved. We used to teach things that we do no longer teach. Even Neville, at the onset of his career, of his teaching career, was talking more, if you've noticed, if you know anything about Neville's work, he was talking more about the subconscious mind early in his career and not at all anymore later in his career. There's got to be a reason for that, right? The reason is because he came to the conclusion, most likely, like I have and many other coaches have, many other Neville students have, whether they are coaches or not, anyhow, they have come to the conclusion that it is not necessary to waste your time reprogramming your subconscious mind to manifest your desire. Now, I'm not saying that it's wrong to do so, but I'm saying it's not necessary. As a matter of fact, when you are deep down into the belief that you have to reprogram your subconscious mind, two things happen. Number one, it means that you are in the state of believing that you have to reprogram your subconscious mind. That's a state right there. You are in the state of reprogramming my subconscious mind. And number two, that state of believing that you have to reprogram your subconscious mind in order to get your desire well, it's doing nothing but delaying the manifestation of such a desire. Oftentimes, I have clients telling me, I wonder if I have some subconscious beliefs that I'm not aware of or something like that. And I tell them, all your subconscious beliefs are right there in front of your nose for you to see. Why? Because all your subconscious beliefs, they are in your life. They are what shapes your life. So they're not hidden. See, that's another false statement, a false teaching that was taught to you and to me. And we bought into it. Your subconscious beliefs are hidden. You're not aware of them. That's a lie. 
all the unwanted things that you see in your life, well, they're right there. That's your subconscious belief or beliefs. They're not hidden. When I wasn't fully aware of what I was doing when it comes to my everyone is you pushed out, which was very strong for me. People were really, really showing me that they were me pushed out my whole life. That's why I've never had any trouble believing and understanding this teaching. But at some point, I may have said, and I probably have had said, that it was a hidden subconscious belief. No, it wasn't. It was not hidden at all. It was right there. It was in the behavior that I was projecting out there onto my world that people were reflecting back onto me. It was not hidden at all. It was actually very easy to see that it was because I had some toxic beliefs about myself and they were very easy to detect. So they were not hidden at all. And the same with my beliefs about money and my beliefs about relationships and my beliefs about everything. It's not hidden, good or bad. It's always been right there in my life for me to see. So again, do not subscribe to the false teaching that your subconscious programming is hidden from you. It can't be hidden because it's right in front of your nose and it's called the quality of your life. So now that you know what your subconscious programming really is, that is not this thing that is so strong and powerful that's hard to change and must change in order to manifest your desires. Now that you know what it really is, Do you have to reprogram that subconscious mind to manifest your desires? The answer is no, unless you assume that you do. And that, my friends, if you assume that you have to reprogram your subconscious mind in order to manifest your desires, then you will have to. Because as Neville said, an assumption, though false, if persisted in, will harden into fact. Any assumption that you have, good, bad, neutral, they will harden into fact for you. It doesn't matter if your assumption is useful or true or non-useful and not true. The point is... An assumption, once you adopt it, once you make it, once you make an assumption about anything, it will be true to you. So this is why I'm making this video about the fact that you do not need to reprogram your subconscious mind. Because if you assume that you do, you will have to. You will always be stopped You will always be prevented from manifesting your desire as long as you assume that you have some more programming and reprogramming and unprogramming to do. And this, my friends, is not healthy for a conscious manifester. And by the way, I'm making this video following up on my blog article that was published yesterday, your God self is greater than your subconscious programming. And I'm going to read a small paragraph here. And I suggest that you click on the link below this video. It's also pinned in the first comment so you can read the whole article after you watch this video. I had a lot of positive feedback from people who have read the article already. It made them feel much better as they realized that they were wasting a lot of time and energy trying to reprogram their subconscious mind. And in the meantime, nothing happened for them. They were not manifesting their desires. So again, be sure you read the article. So here's what I wrote in this paragraph. When you accept the belief that you need to reprogram your subconscious mind to become who you want to be, 
and have what you desire to have, you are not taking into consideration that your I am is God. And I am is what chooses to occupy a state and fulfill the experience of that state. When you understand this, your current subconscious programming loses whatever power you have given it. Guys, you need to understand that your I am is God. The God that lives within you is experiencing life, is experiencing the physical experiences that you live through, which is called life. And it does that by embodying states. And the moment you choose to embody the state where none of your current subconscious programming exists, all this programming that seems to be hindering you right now will be gone. See, if you step into the state of who you want to be, all the issues that your current state has will be gone in that state. States are like frames in a movie strip. And whatever is in that frame doesn't exist in the other frame. So you embody the next frame of your life, of the film of your life, and you do not have to bother with what's in the other frame. Or you could compare states to rooms in your house. When you leave a room to step into another room, you leave everything that's in that room that you are leaving in that room. You do not carry whatever is in that room to the next room that you are stepping in. So when you choose to be who you want to be, you step in the state where that desire already exists and where that new personality already exists. You do not have to bring along the old programming into the new state. Because if you did that, then you haven't killed the old men. Because whatever unwanted subconscious programming you have, that belongs to the old men. And when you kill that old man, any of the negative unwanted subconscious programming that exists for that old man, that old self, doesn't have to exist in the new one. Because again, if it's really your new personality, it doesn't exist anymore. And if it still does, well, you are still in the state of the old personality. A type of statement that I read or hear just about every day is, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, I've been feeling better, but all of a sudden this and that happen and I'm getting anxiety and I'm getting this and I'm getting that. When this happens, it's just the old man that is not completely dead. And it's just states, states that you are going through at that moment. You are going through states. But in that case, don't react. Don't get panicky about it. Just know that it's just a state that you are revisiting. You are not the state. You are God. Every time you start panicking because some old thoughts and feelings are coming back to the surface, you are reacting to something that you don't need to react to. Because once you understand that they are just states, that you as God are just visiting, you know you're not the state, right? You don't need to panic. Those are just states that you are going through. Just leave the state behind. You are God of your reality. The state is just a passing thing that you can decide to dwell in or just leave behind. Here's a beautiful quote from Neville about states in his lecture, Infinite States from 1968. Every state is an attitude, a state of experience with a body of belief. 
that an individual son of the Most High occupies. They are unnumbered states, and the occupant of one state is not better than the occupant of another, for each is a brother in the highest unity, and all are one in the body of God the Father. But the state, the attitude of mind to which you most constantly return, constitutes your dwelling place. So guys, strip off the belief that you have to reprogram your subconscious mind. That it means anything when you feel bad, when you have old thoughts and feelings that come back to the surface. All you need to remember is that you, as God of your reality, are just going through states. And when you are visiting a state that you do not want to live in, just leave that state behind and embody the state of who you want to be. And this is done through your imagination and feeling who you want to be, feeling how you want to feel if you were the person that you want to be. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the video, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not yet. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.